So this is number five. A store stocked 150 cans of popcorn for a weekend sale. That weekend, 72 cans sold. What percent of cans of popcorn stocked were sold that weekend? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out what percentage were sold, but before that, we have to figure out what the fraction is. So we're gonna go from a fraction to a decimal, to a percent, because we have to find a percentage. So these are the three steps. So when we're looking at a the fraction that we need to find, we always look for what the total was. So the big, the total number of popcorn that they had on stock was 150. And the way I like to remember this is that the part goes over the whole or the total. So in this case, the part is 72 and then the total was 150. So the whole amount was 150. So the part over the whole. Now the next thing we need to do is we have to set up the division. And I think it's going to need to be a little bit longer. So the way it works is the numerator, the number on the top, goes inside the house. And then the whole, the total, goes outside the house. Now I look right away and I can see, oh, oh this number is too small. It's smaller than the total, so I know that it's going to be less than one. So what I do is I put my decimal place in, and I put a decimal place there and I try to keep things nice and lined up. Let's make this a little bit longer just so we have some extra room. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what the 150 times tables are. So let's just, do, I think you guys have all know that one times any number is gonna be the same number. So we have one times 150 equals 150. Now, I know that two times 150 is 300, but if you wanna work through it, like let's say this was a weird number and you didn't know it off the top of your head, let's figure out how to do it. So what I wanna do if I wanna figure out what two times is, I'm just gonna add the 150 to the 150. And what that will do is that's going to give us two times 150, which is equal to 300. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna add 150 to this number and the next number and the next number all the way down so that I can figure out my 150 times tables. So let's just do them real quick. So three times 150 equals 450 because I'm just adding 150 to that. Four times 150 equals 600 because I'm adding 150 to 450. 5 times 150 equals 750. 6 times 150 equals 900. 7 times 150 equals 1,150 and 8 times 150 equals 1,200. I'm going to stop there so just so we have them. So watch what I'll do over here. So I look over here and I see 720. I'm looking for a number over here that isn't bigger than 720. So oh, this is too big. So I know that the first one is 600. So four times 150 is 600. So I put the four there and then I put 600 here. And then I just do subtraction. Zero minus zero is zero. Two minus zero is two. Seven minus six is 120. And then I need to bring down a zero. And then I look down here and I say, oh look, it fits perfectly. Eight times 150 is 1200. 1200. And we're done because there's zero remainder. Now, 
So we figured out the fraction, we figured out the decimal. Now the last thing is this, is the percentage. So we have 0.48. Now we don't see 0.48 there because we need to convert 0.48 into a percentage. And the way we do that is we take the number and you multiply it by 100. Now I know you've seen this before, converting a decimal into a percentage. You might not have done it in a couple of years, but that's how you do it. You take the decimal, you multiply it by 100, and that will give you a percentage. Now, multiplying by 100 is moving the decimal place over two spaces. So we take the 0.48, here I'll do it big over here, 0.48, and I move it over 1, 2. Boom. So now that's the percentage because we go to 48. And then when you multiply by 100, you move the decimal place over two spots. That's it. Then I take that 48, I look at my list, and I say, boom, there we go. And there's our answer.